put on your dancing shoes. It's time for Ed's Night Party. Tonight, from Los Angeles, the king of music, Weird Al Yankovic. Plus, all I need to know, and the brighter side of environmentalists, and the Ed's Night Party's Zubar dancers. And now, here's your host, Humble Howard. <laughs> no, man, this is, uh, without a doubt, the best studio audience we've ever had. Uh, now, welcome to the Night Party, ladies and gentlemen, a show that's uh, been criticized for being insensitive, politically incorrect, and uh, immature. And to those people, we say, Eat my shorts! <laughs> eat, eat my shorts, in case you missed that. Ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we have a great show for you tonight. You know, um, rumor is, uh, it's true, the people have been asking, our show is now being seen in England, and uh, they've asked us if we had to make any modifications for the English, uh, you know, if they'll, they'll understand the humor. And, and what we thought we'd do is play a little clip of what Ed's Night Party uh, looks like in Britain. So have, have a look at this videotape. It's uh, quite telling. You'll, you'll get a good idea how we've modified the program. Hello, and welcome to Reg's Evening Soiree. I'm Bob. And now please welcome Reg. Hello. Hello, Reg. Hello, hello. What a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, it's a this... pip. Hmm? It's a pip. Tonight on Reggie's Evening Soiree, we're going to talk to someone who actually hasn't had sex with Fergie. No! Yes! No! Yes, yeah, so what's on your mind, Well, Reg? you know, the other day, this is shocking. What's coming of good old England? Mm. I went to my neighborhood pub yes. to watch the dart competition. Yes, darts are great. Almost as enjoyable as soccer. Another nil-nil score. Well, then they had the soccer up on the telly. Right. And uh, I was watching darts. Yeah. And I ordered my, my favorite little plate of... Bangers and mash, and what you know? I'm eating. And I said something's not right with this. What you was know, wrong with it? It has some flavor. Oh, bloody! What's going on with flavor? What Wait, happens tell if, me. What happens if you know one place serves food with flavor? What happens if it spreads like a trend? Next thing you know, everywhere you go, there'll be spices in your food. Taste is one thing, Reg, but I know. I hope it never stops raining here in England. <laughs> And uh, in, in case you, in case you didn't notice, it's just the same show with stupid accents. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado and delay, please welcome the star of Ed's Night Party, Ed the Sock, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. There you go. Greetings. Greetings. Yeah. Greetings. All right, then. Look at the size of that audience. <laughs> It's like the Who is getting back together or something. Well, look at how many people are here. By the way, together. look at the front row of the audience. Can you show some of those people Let's with have their a look at the front row. This interesting is great. hairstyles? Hey! Look at that! It's a sex pistol! <laughs> Good to know that we attract like an art house crowd, you know? Well, howdy duty there, Ed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, I don't know if you heard that uh, actress Margot Kidder was uh, admitted to a California psychiatric hospital after being found in a suburban L.A. backyard, soiled, bruised, and frightened. Yeah, I heard that. Well, on the brighter side, it's good to see O.J.'s dating again. <laughs> oh, come on. In other yeah. news from, uh, from L.A., I don't know if you heard this. You remember Divine Brown, the yeah. prostitute who was caught with Hugh Grant? Yeah. This week, she just completed making her first movie. Yeah, I've heard that. Here's, here she is, a woman who used oral sex to get a role in Hollywood. Well, her and Sharon Stone are in good company, eh? <laughs> well, you're... A you're a lively crowd, then, aren't you? Huh? Sharon, don't. Um, we've got quite a program tonight. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic's on the show. Oh, yeah, Weird Al. Yeah. Here. And, um... And we should also mention, by the way, how many shows have we done together now? Like 35, 36? Four, something like that, yeah. This is, I should mention, the first time in, like, 36 shows, I actually like what you're wearing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our, wait a second. I liked it until you opened the shirt. <laughs> what, were you run over by a radial tire? What is oh, that? Oh, right. You know, we got a lot of program here. We can't screw around. We, right. uh, now, you know, a lot of people have been asking, when are you going to have some more Ed's Night Party t-shirts? Yes, right a lot of it. people have been asking that. Now, um, we had some made, but due to a little error, the uh, design was printed 
little bit small. <laughs> kind of like wearing a tattoo on your shirt. Right. So we need to get rid of some of these shirts so we can buy some new ones. Okay. And we figured, who's good at getting rid of lousy merchandise like people on the Home Shopping Network? Right on in. Naturally. <laughs> Nat. So, Nat, what we decided to do was set up our own Ed Home Shopping Network here right. to try to move some of these shirts while the show is going so we can then go ahead and make some ones that we actually like. So we've got some uh, people from our audience. Please say hi to Noel, Paul, and Kathy over here. We're in the... Uh... And um, what, what we've done is we've supplied Noel and uh, Paul with uh, a list of Home Shopping Network type uh, descriptions to help them sell this, this crap. All right. All right, so, and, uh, and uh, what's your name? Kathy will be pointing to these every now and then to help them sell. So why don't we let Noel and Paul get to it. Start selling those shirts. We need Ed, some money. Ed's Home Shopping Network. Okay, well, welcome to Ed's uh, Home Night Party uh, Shopping Network. Uh, tonight we got a lovely, fine piece of merchandise. High quality, genuine, one of a kind, not sold in stores yet. So you want to act now as soon as possible. Uh, it's only, there's only one left, uh, so please call in. <laughs> Operators are standing by Come on, as Paul, we speak. Paul, don't hog them. I give Noel a chance. Noel, take it away, please. They're selling fast. They're selling hard. Call 1-800-3-SOCK-ME. <laughs> they're only 1995, tax included, high quality, very handsome and sexy for your loved one to go to bed with. It's the only shirt with a sock on it that you would ever be able to sleep with. Nice job, Noel. Hey, yeah. We'll get you. Very good. We're I get up. the feeling, not to be pessimistic, but I get the feeling that after this show, we're going to be stuck with just as many shirts as when we started. Yeah, well, and, and now when we get back to you next time, just start at the top of the list and, and go down it again. That'll be fine. That's right, Noel. When we get back to you, just go right down. Uh, All right. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, you can sell that on TV. Um, right. Now, you know, there's been a lot of these books that came out. The All I Need to Know, dot, dot, dot. Start right. off with All I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. You ever heard that book? And they became then, all, yeah, then All I Need book. to Know I Learned from Star Trek. Now right. there's like posters, All I Need to Know I Learned from My Cat. Well, we've got a few of our own here that we thought we would proffer to you, the audience, and in, in hopes that it, it will inspire Jet. We're proffering. All of a sudden, I'm doing <laughs> Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> That's right. Well, we hope you enjoy this little proffering. There we go. Okay. Number one, all I need to know I learned from a crack whore. <laughs> all right. A dollar can still go a long way. That's true. What you lose on low prices, you make up for in volume. And you don't have to be famous to meet Hugh Grant. Okay. Uh, all I uh, need to know I learned from beer commercials. Women prefer to drink beer in string bikinis. <laughs> Male beer drinkers are all young, virile, and good-looking, and not overweight, uh, overweight middle-aged slobs watching hockey games and partying. <laughs> okay, that's beer commercial. There you go, thanks, Howard. All I need to know I learned from porno movies. Uh-oh. If you want to succeed, do what you love. <laughs> the most highly sexed careers, pizza delivery man, pool guy, and gardener. Absolutely. And They're getting all the booty. And some women will do anything for a good facial. <laughs> well, if you've just joined us, it's Ed's night party, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, <laughs> that's all. <wrong. laughs> so, so, some of the 11-year-olds in the audience are, are putting up their hand to ask a question. <laughs> Later. Um, all I need to know I learned from Mr. Rogers. Sometimes a cardigan isn't the only thing in the closet. And, <laughs> and if Jews control the media, how'd they miss this guy? All I need to know, I learned from Louis Farrakhan. Blacks are just as good as whites at everything, including racism and demagoguery. All right. Why study history when you can just make it up? And 100,000, a million, who's counting? Uh, all I need to know, I learned from Charlie Sheen. For instance, too much money will go to your head. All I need to know, I learned from Pat Buchanan. Non-white immigrants steal jobs. White immigrants become hard-working taxpayers. 
No problem is so big that it can't be solved by blaming it on the ethnics. And some people make even Bob Dole look good. Have you another? Yes, I do. Interesting, you should ask me that, Howard. Okay. Just give me one second. You go. Okay. And all I, all I need to know is we need more rehearsal time. Um, all I need to know, I learned from Hillary Clinton. I learned, if you want to be president, marry a dumb white guy who will appeal to other dumb white guys. That's my All life. I need to know... Oh, and finally... That's not over yet. Oh, I All I need to know, I learned from Cox, the TV series. Right, this is good. Most crimes are committed by shirtless people. <laughs> <laughs> no one outside trailer parks commit crimes in America. Right. And finally, instead of wasting their time catching serial killers, murderers, and rapists, the police are saving us from the clutches of drunken, harmless people. Ladies and gentlemen, wait. We uh, we have a uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Weird Al Yankovic is here. Come on back. It's Ed's night party. We'll be right back. I know we will. Hey, Ed Heads, if you'd like to send us a message via the internet. All you gotta do is email it to us at edsparty at citytv.com. Who knows? We may even read your question or letter live on the air. Then again, maybe not. It's Ed's night party. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway, um, what are you doing, I, chap? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's seventies it's black it's blind lemon. Down. It's blind lemon humble. Anyway, uh, we got uh, Weird Al Yankovic coming up in a second. First, as we do every week, we endeavor to take a frown and turn it upside down to a smile and present the brighter side of environmentalists. This will be good. <laughs> number one. Give those noisy anti-nuke people a reason to not have to get a real job. <laughs> Earth Day, the only holiday without a line of greeting cards. <laughs> it's good to have people who care about all the species on the planet. Except for human beings, that is. <laughs> the French hate them, so they can't be all bad. <laughs> it's nice to find people who don't waste precious resources on trivial things like watering your lawn, excessive packaging, or personal hygiene. <laughs> and finally, it's good to have some people who can make us question our conscience about eating animals. Except, of course, when we're hungry for a big, fat burger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the brighter side of environmentalists. How are they doing over there by the uh, home shopping people? The home shopping people, are you all right there? How are we doing? Welcome back. we got a lot of these things left. Come on, to dial 1-800-3-SOCK-ME. They're $19.95 a piece. Um, they're not sold in stores. They're... Actually, there is super zirconian in this. I don't know where. But it could be painful, but hey, it's worth the feeling. Come okay, on. Okay, Paul, thank you very much. That's thank all the time we have. Okay, back to you. It's, it's, it's like a telethon. We're not raising any money. There you go. Uh, our guest tonight is the premier music and video parody guy of our time. That sounds pretty impressive, actually. His latest venture is a send-up of Coolio's Gangsta's Paradise. Here's a little snippet for your perusal. Have a look at this. It's Ladies no and gentlemen, put your hands together for Weird Al Yankovic! Sunshine boys with him now. <laughs> That's right. We'll be at Stage West all week. Please enjoy the deal. Um, how do you how do you get permission to make fun of these songs? Well, we call them up and uh, say, "Are you ready for the Weird Al treatment?" And more often than not, they say, yeah, "Okay." But they're thinking it's a Swedish massage, Al. Oh, <laughs> you see, and misleading. And after after um, most of these artists see your version of their song or video, how do they uh, how do they react? Uh, sometimes they react. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it varies, though. That, that really hurt, Al. Um, <laughs> now, I understand uh, Coolio. 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 He hated your version of uh, Gangsta's Paradise. Hate is such a strong word. Well, and he I, hated it. And he hated yeah. it, apparently. Well, apparently. Yeah, I, I thought he'd given us permission, but apparently there was some kind of mis miscommunication going on there. Yeah. Could it be because he was on crack at the time? <laughs> Hang on a second. Why, thank you. What? Can you hear me now? Does this he, help? Are you saying his mic wasn't working for that in the first entire part? Uh, all right, we'll just pick it up as though it's I actually going well. I thought we left cable. I don't know. <laughs> now, my mind training is no, I understand you and, now you and Coolio were actually on the same airplane <laughs> together. Yeah. And uh, you were uh, running around avoiding him like some kind of wacky Three Stooges movie. No, I was sitting in my chair avoiding him, actually. Well, what, 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 <laughs> well first of all, did, did you get on the plane first? I don't know. I, I think probably he came on last. So you looked at him and did he, did he notice you at all? Where did this information come from? <laughs> I, 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 you I, were I, hiding from him, weren't you? <laughs> you were hiding from him. You like didn't get up and go. Boy. Like a little baby. Yeah, you were hiding here. You didn't get up and go to the bathroom the whole flight. <laughs> you were afraid he was going to clock you. So did, you. did you have to make pee pee and you hold it in? and? Uh... That was pretty much it, yes. Thanks for asking. Well, were, you, were you working? No, but seriously, did you see him? You're thinking, oh my God, it's Coolio. He hates me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, Al, I wouldn't sit out on my porch anytime soon. <laughs> Now, beside, now, that, now, that would have been enough, you and Coolio on the same plane, but uh, apparently you were also in the same building with Coolio. We're always in this very building, and he was doing his I&I. &I and, and, uh, uh, with an intermittent... Uh, uh, intermittent, in, in, intermittent and... Uh, and uh, irate? Uh, irate, right. yes. <laughs> and, and you were... And I'm working on my uh, Much Music special, which right. is going to be on May 15th. And uh, <laughs> now we're, we're in the same building, and I was hiding from him there. Well, what did you do? Did you Continuing. Just say, did you say... <laughs> The theme, as it the were. The Fugitive, starring Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Can he stay away from the one brain cell man? <laughs> so, what did you do to avoid running into him? I locked myself in an ed editing bay for several hundred hours. And you said, okay, uh, is he still there? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you took in a little bottle and filled it up. <laughs> they just slid food under the door. I was fine. Now, in Amish Paradise, the video, uh, you were originally after Michelle Pfeiffer for the, the part of the... Uh, oh, for that too, yeah. Right, and uh, she, she wasn't interested. Why, why did you choose... Uh, well, she was interested. She was just busy with a movie or something. I don't know. She's got a... Trivia. Yeah. Uh, got a busy schedule. Why, why did you choose uh, the Brady mom, Florence Henderson? Well, Florence Henderson gets most of the work that Michelle turns down. Oh, yeah. You see. Well, you so. know why? Because she has... <laughs> you know why? Because she has a certain weaponality. That's true. <laughs> she does. Did you get any complaints from uh, the Amish? Most of them don't have TV sets, ah. so so no no complaints there. I well, they fine. they do, but they have one like Gilligan's Island where you got to pedal the bike thing, yeah. and the generator goes. Powered. So who else uh, besides let's see Michelle Pfeiffer, the Amish, Coolio? Who else hates your workout? Oh, <laughs> very, most of them actually take it as a tribute and an right. homage, uh, because you know when I do uh, parodies, they're not meant to be stepping on people's toes or derogatory. They're they're all done in good fun. Do you ever do you ever uh, appear? Like I've always wondered this about you because we see you on uh, on these videos and you're you've been recording for a long time. Are there ever like Weird Al concerts? Or are you really a visual and audio <laughs> artist? I, we're doing the Bad Hair Tour this summer. Funny you should ask. You mean you go out there and you play your little songs? Yeah, my little bitty songs with my little bitty rock band, and it's a, like a multimedia thing. We're uh, touring and, Canada. And do you go afterwards and like do a parody of trashing a hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. And do you get parody of like little groupies? <laughs> no, the women that show up at the shows say, "Ow, ow." My, my little brother needs your autograph. Right. That's the, uh... Yeah, you they don't get that. any action out of this, eh? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, this man's an artist. Come on, you can't ask him that kind of question. So, uh... So do you get any, uh, is there any... <laughs> are there any people that... My you know, audience, I, my main squeeze. Yeah. yeah. I saw a, uh, a porno movie that had a parody of you. The guy was starring and called himself Weird Al Yank on it. <laughs> uh, now, do you, do you, um... Do you, uh, what is this motion? <laughs> do you still play the universal thing? accordion style? Yeah, do you play the accordion still? Is that yes, still I part do. of your work? Still my main act, yeah. Really? And, and, and even in the recordings? And Do you, you have to play other instruments as well? Well, the keyboard instruments. Right. But, uh, no. Huh? Yum. yum. Yes, yes, I do. Yum. 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 <laughs> when did this interview turn into, like, <laughs> grumpy old men? <laughs> <laughs> the onomatopoeia hour. Yeah. So it's uh, the, new, the new special on Much Music here in Canada is called Al Music 3. 
You love it up here in Canada. I love it. The Canadians love you. I love this couch. The Canadians love Al Yankovic. Yeah. He's uh... You know what? You're you're you're, al you're almost goofy enough to be a Canadian. <laughs> and you know what? We just wanted to just just to surprise you, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Coolio. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it's great having you. Oh, thank you, Howard. Al Yankovic, thank everyone. Yeah, Come thank on you. in Toronto and would like three tickets to see Ed's night party, well, give us a call. In Canada and the U.S., it's 1-800-3-SUCK-ME. Ed's night party brought to you by Bolton Canadians. Back to Ed's night party, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, just a little time to check in on the Ed's Home Shopping Network. Uh, yeah, how's it going? You selling any of that? Crap? Noel, take it away. Get a grip. I'm a puppet. It's one of a kind, collectible, high quality t shirt. Call 1 800 3 Sock Me and you will feel rewarded. Wow. She's doing 976 Ed. Yeah, no good job. Hey. That was, that was kind of a. That was kind of one of those weird Noel is getting sexy on it kind of things there. What was that, man? We, uh, you haven't sold a single t-shirt. Well, that's just that. Well, what um, do you expect? Yeah. We'll be giving them away. Yeah, we will be giving those I away. I guess the audience wouldn't mind getting free ones. We won't. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, want to thank... How no, you doing? Do we, we have to thank... We want to thank him. We're y'all Yankovic, ladies and gentlemen. Look for uh, his uh, special coming up and, uh, Thanks for being here. You've been a great audience. And uh, what else? Say, uh, Al's sitting right here, by the way. Oh, yeah, look at him. <laughs> He's sitting there Al, real quiet. He won't go away. How you doing, Al? Honey. I have, I got, I got nowhere to go. <laughs> All right. We can always go hang with Julio and the boys. <laughs> yeah. But... Here like we go. I always say, folks, if you have anything good to say, say it off and Good night, good night, everybody. Thanks very much. Coming up next, 